What's up everyone, welcome back to yet another video. Michael here, we're gonna be taking a look at just a few new changes that I've made to the city, which culminate in a brand new Mills Plate for the beach area. I'm very excited to show you guys what I've got going on around there. So, let's go ahead and take a look. If you guys let a cat have access to your Lego city, for the most time it will be fine, but every once in a while you will suffer a catastrophic defeat. We've got a uh, beach house shattered on the floor. Sorry, what do you have to say for yourself? Anything? Yeah, that's what I thought. So firstly, you guys saw that I was treated very well at Christmas, and I've already busted out the Sanctum Sanctorum, as well as my new freight train. Thanks again to Abby and Sean for both of those sets. And they look absolutely epic in the city. The Sanctum Sanctorum is a really nice corner building to have on the edge of our downtown core. And I just had a great time building this set. I am a huge Marvel head, and I love the new Doctor Strange movie. It's amazing to get some of these minifigures as well as the Sanctum itself. My only complaint with the set is really the back alleyway, which I do think is a pretty common complaint about that set. I'd have preferred to have a bit more of a full building, but this is fine. It looks beautiful. You know, Marvel, Lego, we're just gonna accept what they give us, so I'm fine with that. I still love the set. I've got a little battle happening outside, and the Scarlet Witch is floating up above. If you guys have seen the movie, Multiverse of Madness, you know that Scarlet Witch was scary as f in that movie. So I'm super excited to have her minifigure as well. But yes, that set's awesome. I love the main staircase, love all the details from the movies, love the little the doorway that moves back and forth. You could travel through all the little Marvel details, all the stuff with Wong. It is truly awesome and very excited about that. I've added the new freight train just behind my passenger train. In the future, when I do expand the table size of the city, I'll have two separate train lines, a freight line and a passenger line, but there's just not enough room for another uh, train line right now. Unless we were to raise the passenger train up like it was in Chicago, that would be pretty cool. Um, I have thought about that. I might still do that. I know Brixie just did that with his city, but uh, it seems like a lot of parts, so that may be something we do in the future, but I love the idea of an elevated train for sure. And finally, I wanna show you all what I've been doing over on the beach side of the table. So I've continued the beach mills work from before, finally completing a slow grade into the water with some dark wet sand, same way you'd see in real life. I've also begun tiling out the water. As you can see, I do need a lot more tiles, but I love the shine and smoothness here that these tiles are bringing to the water. I cannot wait to fill in the rest of these gaps. And finally, the biggest addition that I've added for this video is a whole new base plate for the beach area. This area will function as an entrance to the beach from the road in the residential area. And really, this area is just a beach mills conversion of Lego Friends Set 41701 Street Food Market. I love sets like these with a little bit of work. You can really help use these to add some variety and life into your city just by integrating it in just a little bit. So we've got the taco truck, a picnic table, and two little food stands as well. You'll see the cement path only goes halfway across. I think I'll do a bit of rocks and pebbles lining the pathway which leads into the beach, um, but I need some more parts for that. The base plate here in the back is still empty, but all in due time. I promise I will be filling out this base plate as well. I'm really glad this area of the city is finally taking shape. But as always, we've got a ton of work to do. Much of the table under the train track is still visible. You can see the wood. The Lego people are looking at that. They have no idea what that is. Their, their world is only plastic. 
and them being able to see the wood of the table, I think is causing a few crises around the city. We need to increase our mental health resources because they're having a, you know, they're having a bit of a break from reality, realizing that, you know, wood exists. Like, what is that? So, gonna have to fix that. But I do have a plan for that. It's just gonna take some time, especially with all the projects we've got going on. So, we will fix that in due time. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Catch you later. Peace! Remember,